Alrighty, hi guys. Let's go down to a pattern focus and find one more pattern for the day before it gets too dark in here for me to draw. And we're going to go down to Embedded. Embedded by Alina Light. So this looks like we can do this in three different shapes. I like I like her artwork. Dare to experiment every day. And she's done this shape in three different ways. In triangles, in squares, and in circles. So, it looks like, if you want to do it in a square, well, let's look at each one separately. We're going to do a square. Inside that square, we're going to do another square or a rectangle of some sort. And then in here, we're going to do here and there, just the two lines, right? And then four. And then two lines and then four. So there, each one is embedded in another one. See how that goes? Let's see. And then if we're going to do a triangle shape, we're going to do the triangle inside then just one line to create a triangle and then inside that triangle another triangle and then one line and then in the middle one and the same thing with circles and we'll start with a big circle do one inside and then do just a part of a line so that this part this part of the line is part of that circle with another one and another one so the question is going to be what do I want to do with these shapes? So I want to basically uh, lay out on my page some circles, some triangles, and some rectangular shapes. And figure out where I want to place them before I even get started, I think. So let me give myself a bit of a border and decide what I want here. I think I want to place place some things along the line like this. And then I'm going to put something here and something there. That's how I'm going to uh, compose this. So what I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe maybe a rectangular let's do a rectangular shape here and here and here And then here will be a round shape. And here will be a triangular shape. As my composition. Oh, oh, I just have a toe cramp. Oh, goodness sakes. I hate when that happens. Mm. <laughs> okay. You know what? I want to overlap these more. I want to have a, a bit of an overlap. I don't like this triangular one. I think, I think perhaps I want a bit of the corner of that overlapping and the same here yeah okay so I think my triangle is going to No. 
my triangle's going to overlap my go this way that's going to go over on the top of that but this is going to go over the top of this circle like that yeah that's my plan you guys see my plan that's that's a little better okay so i'm going to start with the external edge of each of these shapes so it's going to be like that and then a circular shape like that and then this one is going to come like that and then this triangle something like that and then a rectangular shape that goes that way okay so now inside the triangle going to do aura and then I'm going to do this is going to be part of the line this is going to be part of the line so I'm just going to do a, a line there so now I've got a new triangle triangle. I wonder if I want to do it this way. They don't always have to be the same direction, do they? Like that. Okay. Rectangle and then rectangle need to erase all my pencil lines. They're distracting me.
Oh, it actually looks cooler like that. I guess I should have put them all in in the spot where they showed in the first place. But, you know, I have to be unusual and do it somewhere else. I like that and that. This one and this one are interesting and they're good, but they're not as... The illusion isn't the same as in that one. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. I like them. That's different. Okay, and then we can embellish if we want to, which I think I will do. I'm going to put stripies in here. Need to uh, answer a question, right? The last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. Well, that would have been on our last cruise. We got an awesome deal on that last cruise, let me tell you. Usually... Pictures are like an 8x10 is usually close to 20 bucks on the cruise ships, which is crazy expensive. But for a really short window of time, they had this crazy deal where you could get unlimited prints from all the pictures that you were in um, for like 200 bucks which was crazy, like crazy, crazy deal. And um, did we take advantage of it? Absolutely we did. Got a, got a hold of that puppy and we took, well, we ended up coming home with like 120 pictures or something, which would have been like, like two thousand dollars or something it was crazy it was a crazy amount of pictures we got we we just stopped everywhere on every night at every station and took pictures every chance we had they don't do that anymore they realized quickly they only had it for maybe a couple of weeks and they realized really quickly that that was a bad idea So they stopped it. Okay, that was easy. Next question. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Are they cheesy? Yeah. Do I like them? Absolutely. Love musicals. And they're cheap. They're only cheesy because you know, in real life, most people don't just break into song about what's going on around them. They usually don't. But you know, who's going to argue with? A good musical. Music Man, uh, Sound of Music, Mary Poppins.
Love, a, love me a good musical. change colors. This puppy's going to have a pop of red in it. I'm going to leave those other ones. I think I'm going to leave those. What was this called? Doo, 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 doo. Embedded. I remember to sign it this time. I remembered after, after I turned off the camera yesterday, I realized I hadn't signed yesterday's um, picture. Alrighty, smudgy smudgies. Ooh, I like that. That came out really good. I'd do that again. Okay. All right, while I'm doing this, um, Is Christmas stressful? It shouldn't be, but it is. Mostly because we do it to ourselves, you know. I think it's uh, I think it's stressful just because of so much activity going on. Um, I'm really. 
I'm really quite a, a an introvert. I'm a, I'm a quiet person. I prefer to not be around that many people. It just it, it tires me out. It it wears me out to be around a lot of people. This time that I've had off from work has been absolutely tremendous for my mental health because I haven't had to do the whole customer service thing and pretend to like people for eight hours a day. It's really been quite liberating. And I really am super enjoying myself. Uh, I could totally be retired. I could. If I could afford to be retired, I would. I would totally do it because I'm just... I could just be done with with peopling. And I, that's part of why Christmas is so stressful. It's it's a little stressful for for um, finances, um, less because of Christmas spending because we really are pretty good about that. We 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 don't overdo, um, and more because a lot of a lot of my bills, uh, my big bills, my my yearly big huge bills all come in November. October, November, and December. My huge bills come those those months. I've got um, auto insurance that comes, and I pay it every year. I pay the whole year ahead. I don't I don't do monthly payments. Um, so my auto insurance comes, my um, homeowners insurance comes, and property taxes come all in those three months. And so those are three really big bills. Yeah, that, that, so, so by the time December rolls around, finances are a little tight, but we somehow managed to get through it. If, if I think about it and I'm, and I'm really organized, I can start shopping my Christmas shopping during the summer when I have see sales for particular people. Um, I will do that. I have not been on the ball enough the last couple of years so I like to be done with my Christmas shopping before Halloween but that ain't happening I don't think I'm even gonna get started until after Halloween so okay that's enough about Christmas I don't even want to think about Christmas yet although I know it's rushing at us quickly I will see you guys tomorrow don't want to deal with Christmas right now and um, yeah you guys have a great day go out and do something nice for someone today and I will see you later bye bye